Two dead, two dead. Down. Down. Ten gone. So is the XM4 actually any good now? Every man and his dog has been shipping the XM4 lately, claiming it as a top tier weapon. For many people, it was the first weapon they reached for with a Cold War integration. Me included, and I think a lot of people were hoping it might perform similarly to its modern warfare variant, the M4A1, which has been a mainstay of the game since Season 1, Year 1. The XM4, on the other hand, has had a more rocky path into Warzone. It is certainly a viable weapon, and more and more people are now running it as their go-to primary. And I do recommend trying it, but I want to temper that with a side of caution. I tried a whole range of builds on this weapon, and from what I found, it has a very narrow operating window. If you maximise it for range, you will probably find yourself struggling with the iron sights, for example. If you build it for close quarters, you will probably be hurting on the ammo capacity or recoil control. I could not find a long range build of this gun that would make sense as part of a subby loadout. And then a sniper support, it felt like you could only build it for close or mid range, not both. And I'm talking about this in the context of other weapons that excel in these areas. Close to mid range, you could run the AMAX, the RAM, the FARA, the FFAR, the AK 47, all of which are more rounded weapons in this bracket. And then for long range, you can choose between the AMAX again, the Kilo, the Krig 6 the Bruin, the M4A1, and the Stoner. I've seen a lot of people running the XM4 as part of a dual assault rifle pairing in place of a subby, but in which case, why not just run an SMG? The MP5, the MAC-10, and the PPSH will absolutely destroy this thing at close quarters. The XM4 is very situational, so you have to be comfortable using it in the right places. I literally have two builds, one for Rebirth and one for Verdansk. Here's the main one that I ended up with. So for the Rebirth build, we use the Agency Suppressor for the extra range and bullet velocity. You can swap this out now for the recently buffed Suppressor, which will save your ADS speed, but will hurt you on range. We use the Task Force Barrel to take advantage of that stray speed. For Verdansk, you might swap this to the Range Barrel for the bullet velocity. For the Stark, we use the Raider Pad to improve our mobility. I use the Microflex LED with this weapon, but if you are comfortable with the Iron Sights, this will open up a lot more options for you. I tried it and just found the Iron Sights to be unusable. Finally, we use a 60 round mag, which will hurt your ADS time, but I found that in trios and quads, the 45 round mag just doesn't put out enough damage. It's not the AMAX. Now, the recoil on this build is terrible, but fine for close quarter engagements like on Rebirth Island. But as soon as you start stretching that out to medium range, the recoil can be punishing. Just quickly, I'll put my dance build up on the screen, which feels much better at range with much better recoil control, but struggles with the ADS time, mobility, and ammo capacity. It is a complicated weapon to say the least, but if you want to try something different, I do recommend it as a fun alternative. Once you get it in the sweet spot, it can be very entertaining. Let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section below, especially if you have a build for this weapon that you think is really effective. Finally, we'll leave you with some gameplay featuring the XM4 at work. If you do enjoy this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, be good to each other. We'll catch you again soon. Above us? Someone else coming at us, or is that you? Oh, there's one there. Oh, Holy shit, man. On to the right, coming along this wall somewhere. Oh shit, I'll be up here. Oh god. Back <sighs> Bullshit that silence you f He called me a rude word. Um, they're down in the end, man. Oh, I tagged them one time. Pushing, still pushing, right now. Right in half. Ghosted straight up. 3.4 meters above us.
<coughs> Yo. One on me. Whereabouts? I don't know, I just heard footsteps. But... Yeah. Do that. Oh, shells. Oh. Down two, killed one. Nice, one. man. Yeah. I'm the liability today, fellas. <laughs> oh, oh, good, oh, oh, I don't know where you are. Yes. Chaos. Yes, 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 yes. Was he underneath? Smoke. Whole squad. Let's sharpen up. Good work, man. Good call. Right. That... They're either below us or above us. Below. 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 Yep. Hidden cell press. Nice work, man. Oh, there's my grenade. Big shit with a grenade. Give me a Hey, hey. He just parachuted down from the tower. He's around. He's, he's out. It's gonna be on our roof. He's down on this wall. Five remain. Finish the job. Right, 3v2. They're underneath us. Or above us. One's underneath. Underneath. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. Where'd he go? Good. Where's the last one? He was on ping. I lost him. You're a ping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bottom right here. He's here. No, he's above. He's above. Oh no! Oh my god. Oh. Nice work. GG's.